Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back and thank you for coming to spend some time with me today. I thought that today I would do some empties because I have rather a large container here full of empties. Now these are not empties that I've used in the last month or so, these are empties that have been accumulating and those of you who Anybody who uses beauty products know that they don't all run out at the same time, so it's kind of an accumulation over a few months. Um, normally I try and categorise them, but I think these are just kind of thrown in here, so I'm just going to pull them out. I can see a few things that are, um, you know, in certain categories, and I'm going to start off with skincare. And this is um, my... Sorry, before I do, I, it's evening time and I have a light here in front of me, so I apologise. I know there's a there's a shadow, so I hope the lighting isn't too bothering. Um, this is the almond oil that I use to cleanse my skin, and it's made by a brand called Ultra Pure. It's just almond oil. Um, that costs me 18 euro. You can see the price on it there. I buy it in a local chemist, a local pharmacy, and um, I find that just fantastic for taking my makeup off. My daughter uses it as well. So what I generally do is I put it into a bottle with a pump um, because sometimes it comes with a little plastic stopper in there that has a hole in it so you can gently squeeze out but this one didn't so I was pouring too much out so I decanted it into um, a bottle with a pump. So it's brilliant. It just takes my makeup off um, it's very gentle on the skin. It takes off eye makeup as well. You have to, to probably do it twice if you're wearing um, waterproof mascara, but it does take everything off. So I absolutely love it. And by the same brand, I finished up um, the Rose Water. It's a hydrating and balancing toner. So um, I love that. I use it in the morning generally after I've washed my face and I, will, I have it decanted into a, a spray bottle so I spritz it and in fact when I was in New York I had it in a little spritz bottle and I carried it in my handbag every day. My, I had a crossbody bag um, and I carried it in that so when it was very very warm I could just spritz my face and it was so refreshing and it was really lovely, kept my skin hydrated and that amount in both of those there's um, 500 ml in both of those bottles. This I say, as I say, was 18 euro, and this one was um, 9.45. So extremely good value because they last for months. Um, another skincare item that was a smaller rose water that I had used, the same brand. That cost. I think I bought that actually before I went, so I could decant it before I went to New York. I think it was two euro, and in that there is 125 ml. Uh, another skincare item is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth, Hot Cloth Cleanser and that's it there. And most of you will know, will have heard of Liz Earl and it, know that the Cleanse and Polish is an iconic cleanser. It's really beautiful to use. It has, wait let's see now, just pop on the glasses. Um, naturally active ingredients, rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter and eucalyptus essential oil cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother, clearer skin. There's 100 ml in that. I, I can't remember. I think it might have been about 20 euro. Um, I can't remember where I bought it. I didn't. I used to buy Liz Earl um, from QVC um, and then I, I think I've bought it a couple of times online but now it's actually more readily available. Something sticky on it. Um, I bought that, I think I bought it in a department store in Dublin. So really, really enjoyed that. Um, the one thing about pump bottles, and I've said this numerous times, you can't see when you're getting to the end. So you can, sometimes you can tell when you're used to using the pump, you can kind of tell it's beginning to run out, but um, or you can feel that the pressure is not as strong as it was. But you put this on to dry skin, um, you massage it in, and you put it on your neck and your decollete, and then you um, remove it with, um, it, it comes with a muslin cloth, and you can buy extras as well. So you soak the muslin cloth in warm to hot water, and then you can use it to remove your makeup. It removes eye makeup as well, so it's a really, really good cleanser, and it's a natural one as well. Um, another skincare product, quite a good, quite a few skincare products actually. This one is the Dr. Hauschka Cleansing Cream. It's it's in a kind of a, a metal tube, so I hope you can see that. And this one, I was using 
usually in the morning times, I'll just tell you what it says. Um, refines, revitalizes and deeply cleanses. Moisten face, neck and decollete with a warm face cloth. Mix the cleansing cream with warm water in your palms to form a smooth creamy paste. Press gently to skin with fingertips, rolling and lifting your hands as you work from the forehead down to the neck. Do not rub or scrub. Use one to, one to three times. Repeat one to three times and then rinse thoroughly. Um, I tended not to do that. Um, I would pour, you know, moisten my skin, put a little bit into my fingers, moisten it up and make it into a cream, but I did sort of gent very gently rub. I That's what they mean by, you know, pre pressing rolling. I just, you know, <laughs> um, and it was gentle enough. It, it's kind of, I don't know if there's anything left in it to even show you. Oh, there is, you can see. Um, it's kind of a brown cream and it's got a little grain in it and it's not one of those nasty grains that are bad for the environment it's a natural one so it ref it refines the skin exfoliates the skin as you use it really enjoyed that and would repurchase and the other items I would repurchase as well um still with skincare and um, this is another oil oil this is the tisserand grapeseed oil um there's a sticker on it that it's very hard to get it off so it, but it is you can see it's the grapeseed oil Tisserand is the brand and I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think I bought it in, I could have bought it in Holland and Barrett, I'm not sure. Um, but I tend to mix this with my, if I'm making up my own body oil, which I do, I'll mix it with the almond oil um, and whatever other oils I have at the time. And grapeseed oil is uh, contains resveratrol, which comes from the grape, the, the grapeseed and it's really good for anti-aging so that's a great one and you don't need to put a huge amount i mean when i'm making up a body oil the majority of it is made up of almond oil and i'll put in i don't measure amounts i just put in you know i play chemist <laughs> and so that really really enjoyed that another one that i finished up was the vitamin e oil uh 5000 iu and it's by it's fluff on it and it's by jason so that's another well-known brand um, and again I'll mix that in with um, my body oil um, so that's a lovely one as well and vitamin E is very good for healing it's very good for scarring my little girl had a, a, um, a scar on her leg she did a minor operation and um, I was putting it onto her scar as well and you can buy it in different strengths um, I think I'm still with skincare yes this is my sorry I would definitely repurchase that as well um, this is a repeat, you've seen me mention this several times, it's the Mad Hippie Face Cream. Love it. Um, it has peptides, acai and uh, argan oil and it also has res resveratrol. Love it, love it, love it. It's not expensive. There is, let's see how much is in it, 30 ml. I wish they made it in a bigger bottle. It's a pump so it's very hygienic and it's um, it protects the, the cream. Um, what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, it's just got really good active ingredients. It's lovely and light on the skin. It absorbs really well and I have repurchased that. Um, and I don't know how many bottles of that I've gone through. Uh, still with skincare. <laughs> Thanks, it seems to be mainly skincare this, this month or this time. This uh, Again, you've seen this many times with me. Um, the Pixie Glow Tonic absolutely love that i use that at night after i've cleansed my skin i double cleanse so i'll cleanse with the oil and then depending on whatever cleanser i have at the moment be it liz earl or the dr house uh, will be my second cleanse and then i'll follow up with the pixie glow tonic i love it this is um let's see how much is in it glasses again um i apologize the light is fading um you can use this um every day every day every night if you want or every morning morning and night that's what I'm trying to say there's 250 ml in that and I buy this in Marks and Spencers um, I can order it from QVC as well but um, I think it's 23 a little a little over 23 euro and I have repurchased that I'm in the middle of another bottle that's not skin oh yes this is skincare um this is another mad hippie product and it is my mad hippie vitamin C serum so that's it there and I have been loving this. I think this was my first one and I have repurchased it. Um, it's with Konjac Root, 
ferulic and hyaluronic acid and there's 30 ml in it. And it's uplifting antioxidant blend that brightens, tightens and smooths the skin. So you lightly massage serum onto face after washing in the morning. It says you can do it in the evening as well and follow with Mad Hippie Face Cream. I don't use it in the evening, I use the Mad Hippie Vitamin A Serum in the evening but I use that every morning and I think I've... Did I mention this before? It's either, it could be my second bottle. I, I, I really, really like it and I can see a definite improvement in my skin. Nothing drastic. I can just see that, you know, my skin is definitely brighter and in better, better condition. So definitely would repurchase as I say, I have repurchased that. So, um, what else have we got skincare wise? It's... No, the rest is not really skincare. Okay. Well, this is slightly skincare. This is my self tanner and it's I spoke about this before it's made by a company called Mugu and it's called How Now Brown Cow <laughs> it's a natural self tanner and it's the only one that I really will use and um, it's gradual tanning full cream for face and body and um, with milk protein for skin elasticity canola derived tanning ingredient and purified green tea extract and um, so it's a natural tanning ingredient that um, it comes out as a white cream like an a regular body lotion put it on I put it on at night it takes it, it's a little bit tacky you have to let it dry but it's not it's not terribly tacky and um, I would be careful if you're wearing really expensive nightwear um, that it might stain a little bit but it it will wash out and uh, when I wake in the morning I have a nice a glow to my skin now I'm very pale as you can see I'm not self tanning at the moment and this is um, makeup but when I use this it just gives me a lovely golden colour um, if I wanted it to be a little bit darker I would just reapply it the next night it generally lasts about five days and then I can reapply um, again so really love that and I definitely will repurchase it it cost me 18 99 euro 99 cent can highly recommend it it's I think it's from New Zealand. It's either Australian or, or Australian or it's from New Zealand. It's one or the other. So, and the Australians and New Zealanders tend to be very progressive with their skincare and with the ingredients that they use. And this is very pure. So, highly recommend that. Um, moving on to um, well, this is still kind of body care. This was the Clarins uh, Relax Bath and Shower Concentrate with Essential Oils. There's a tiny little bit you can see, but it's not really coming out. Um, it was blue. <laughs> what was the, what was my first clue? And um, that was lovely to use. It's got a kind of um, it's an unusual scent. It's kind of earthy, you know, um, essential oily. I'm not sure what the um, I don't think I'll be able to read it now. Wait, let's see. Oh, it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say what the, uh, the um, it just says with essential oils, so it doesn't say what particular one, and I can't put my finger on what the, 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 um, the top note is, but it's kind of earthy, so if you like that kind of smell, you will love it, you can use it in the bath or the shower, put it on one of those shower puffs, and it's absolutely gorgeous, so I would repurchase that, that was actually a gift with purchase, but there was 100 mil in it, so it was really lovely. I'm um, moving on to, well, this is another bath item. Um, shower item. This was, I think I've spoken before about the fact that I got a gift. I mentioned it in products I bought for, because of the packaging, although this, I didn't buy it. My friend gave me a gift at Christmas, but I would have bought it. And it was um, like a a set of uh, shower gels from Molten Brown. And this one was the Orange and Bergamot Body Wash. I don't know if you'll be able to read that because you, know, you might be able to. Um, I took this one with me when we traveled to New York. It was perfect size because, <laughs> again, the, the glasses, what was in it? 50 mil, so it was perfect for traveling. We were only gone for five, five days, so it was the perfect amount. You need a very small amount, I put it on the shower puff and um, you have a lovely shower and it's a beautiful scent. It's not overpowering. Um, it's it's a, just a lovely uh, bur orange and bergamot scent so really really enjoy that and I don't need to repurchase because I have a whole selection of other um, molten brown shower gels so but I actually would purchase a large size I'm going to pick my favorite scent and I'll purchase in the large size and um, now moving on to some hair care this was the Tresemme specialist oleo radiance uh, illuminates lightweight healthy conditioner um, that's 
that's a mouthful and doesn't do you, know, do you know what really really irritates me when I buy a shampoo and a conditioner together and I finish the conditioner first that really annoys me and I'm still I'm used still finishing the it's twin and the, the shampoo is in a black tube it's the same it's the same one um, and I'd say I have another couple of shampoos left in it but um, it annoys me I don't understand because when you think about it generally you would put more depending on the length of your hair I suppose but yeah it still would work if you were putting more shampoo and you might shampoo twice and then put your conditioner on I don't know how this ran out but my daughter has used this as well um, because we both have quite fine hair um, and she liked it. It is not, it is very lightweight, it doesn't weigh your hair down at all, um, it's not overly scented, no it's not, it's, an, it's a pleasant scent but it's not overpowering, um, it's easy to rinse. I don't know if it, if it illuminates, well you see I don't colour my hair so I don't know, it, I don't know but I would repurchase that, I did enjoy it. Another um, hair care product was the Lee Stafford Coco Loco and it's the Coconut Mousse. I think this is just going, I've had it for quite a while. I've spoken about it before and it is lovely and coconutty, but um, it's not, no, it's just, it's there, it's there too long and I'm, it's nearly gone so I'm going to get rid of that. I would buy it again, I did like it, but I have another mousse that I prefer and I've spoken about that before. It's the Schwarzkopf Got To Be... I can't remember what it's called, but it's in a yellow tin. But I've spoken about it before. Um, now, mm, hand care products too. This is the Sally Hansen nail polish remover. It's the strengthening one um, for soft thin nails. <laughs> I bought it because it has um, pro vitamin B5 in it, which I thought would be good for my nails um, because they do tend to be a little bit soft. Um, so it was is with <laughs> it is with vitamin E and hydrolyzed wheat protein um, and there's 200 ml in that and that's actually Sally uh, Sally Hansen uh, polish removers used to be quite expensive but they've actually come down in price so I do I would definitely repurchase um, I I had another one it, this one was pink the liquid was pink I had another one that was blue but I definitely would repurchase that I really enjoyed it and it's not overpowering the smell is not overpowering because sometimes I find if an, a polish remover is very very strong it'll give me a headache that one doesn't this is my Burt's Bees cuticle lemony lemon butter cuticle cream now it's not quite finished it's almost gone as you can see I'm not actually enjoying it it's not doing anything for my cuticles um so and I have it too long um I have it, I have it a long time and I just said no no I'm gonna I'm gonna toss that so um I don't think I'd repurchase it. As I've said before, I'm more of an oils girl. I, I have a cuticle oil that I'm using at the moment and I much prefer it. I just found that that was very greasy and, you know, it's kind of f f fiddly to put it on. You're, you know, I just, no. <laughs> um, I have two uh, toothpastes. This is the Sensodyne Pro Namel. I've shown this many times before. That's my favourite toothpaste. And this one was the gentle whitening, which helps to restore natural whiteness. And I don't, my teeth would be slightly, their natural colour is to be not white white, which I would love if they were, but that's just my natural colour. So this helps in um, just whitening them a little bit. And this one, in my attempt to whiten my teeth, I had the Colgate, I don't know if I can show this, it's all scrunched up, Max White. And I'm all sticky now. It was this one here in the red tube. And um, I actually didn't really care for this one. Um, it's luminous. Wash your teeth all around with smart foam. I didn't actually really like that. I felt it was very foamy. It was very strong. It had a very strong uh, flavour. And there were little kind of blue granules or something and I just didn't like it so I wouldn't repurchase that but that's just you know that's just me. Now I have only three makeup items and um, one is my Flormar Triple Action Mascara and it is the one that had little twisty I've shown it I've spoken about it before it's a three in one um you can, there's a little black um thing on the bottom of the the lid and you can twist it. So there's, I'll just pop that down there. Um, that's when the brush is straight. So you twist it once 
and it twists it down a little bit because it's very hard to see. Um, it twists it down a little bit and then you twist it again. You might be able to see this move now. It's just more compact and the bristles are tighter. Um, then you twist it again the other way and it's back to a straight wand. I did like it. Um, it's a mascara. It's a good mascara. I wasn't crazy about it. I don't know if I'd repurchase it, but I think that three in one is a little bit of a, a gimmick, to be honest. Um, I certainly didn't use it using the, two, the three different settings. I just used the straight wand, but it was a good mascara. It was gentle on the eyes and it was easy to remove as well. And it did give length and volume. Um, I've also used up, this was the Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer. And again, the writing has worn off completely and it was in the colour, where's my glasses, it was in the colour 01 nude I think, even with my glasses I can't read it, but that's it there, 01 nude I think, let me get the focus, anyway it was a tw little twist up, little pen you twist it, um, it actually ran out really quickly and I was a little bit disappointed with that. The handy thing is that you can see when it's running out. So I, I would recommend it and I probably would repurchase it at some time, but I have other ones that I want to try in the meantime. And the last makeup item, <laughs> I think, yes, it is. <laughs> it's an eyeliner pencil from NYX. <laughs> you can just about see that it's NYX. It was brown. I don't know if it had a particular name, um, but it was just a little brown um, eyeliner. There it is there. I did like it. I would repurchase. I do have a problem with, um, it, you can you can smudge it out. It's not exactly waterproof. And I do have a problem with eyeliners. Um, excuse me. Um, because I have slightly oily eyelids, they just seem to break down and they transfer and move. And when I put on my eyeliner in the morning, if I do a little flick or whatever in a couple of hours, that's either faded or it's just gone. So um, if any of you have any recommendations, if you have a similar challenge to me um, or as I have, I would love to know what your recommendations are for a good eyeliner that stays in place. So that, but I would repurchase that. I did like it and it's very easy to work with. And I think that is that's it no more empties so I would be very pleased to pop all of these in the recycling and uh, free up my, my little basket again um, I hope you enjoyed that and I just want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers I am blown away I really am I never thought um, when I started back in February that I would have even 10 subscribers <laughs> and that would be just my family <laughs> uh, so I'm really really happy and it means so much to me that so many of you have um, subscribed um, and watch and enjoy my 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 ramblings um, so I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are um, as I say it's evening time here and the light is dying very quickly um, so um, I hope I'm, I know I've been absent for maybe a week or so, but when school is out, the days don't have the same structure, and I'll I will say to myself, I'm going to film today, and then it doesn't happen, and anyway, it just gets put on the long finger, and then I said I have to do it today, and hence I do it in the evening time when the light is not good. <clears throat> but um, I have a few more um, good good videos I hope coming up. And um, I will see you again very soon in the next video. So have a lovely evening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.